and today I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about apprenticeships just to give you a bit of an overview uh, if you have any questions at the end of this talk it's probably worth speaking to your tutors uh, asking them those questions and then they can come back to me and ask me any questions if you need to um because i don't think we'll have enough time for questions at the end of this but if uh, you are interested in learning more about apprenticeships then i'm more than happy to arrange to come back and see you all and we can do a bit of a workshop so I can show you how to find those apprenticeships. Um, so again, I am the school engagement coordinator for the AIM group, and um, we work with loads of schools um, all around Norfolk, Suffolk, Cambridgeshire, and I've worked with loads of students. I've actually been working with your school for quite a few years now, um, so I have attended uh, your actual beautiful school, um, and I'm glad that I can still be able to support you even if it's virtually. So again, if you do need any help with apprenticeships, I'm more than happy to help any of you. So feel free to speak up. Um, so what is an apprenticeship? So an apprenticeship, you need to treat it like a real job. So it's a bit different from um, studying all time. What you do is with an apprenticeship, 80% of the time you will be working for a real employer. OK, so you will actually choose a job that you're going to do through an apprenticeship. OK, and you'll be doing that job 80% of the time. So roughly about four days a week. And then once a week, so 20% of the time, you spend it learning um, so that goes alongside your um, apprenticeship. So with an apprenticeship, what you're doing is you're combining work experience and education into one big package. So you'll spend four days a week at work doing a real job. And then once a week, you'll go to college or to university to study um, alongside to gain those qualifications that you need, as well as lots of work experience. Now, you will be treated just like every other employee. So you will have a contract of employment. So you will have things like holiday, salary, sick pay, time off to study, lots of support from your employer who will make sure that you are trained in your role. But you'll also get lots of support from your training provider. So from your training provider, your university or your college, you will get um, lots of support and you'll have a tutor that will be supporting your education side. Now, again, it's a real job with real responsibility. So you have to be very responsible and you will actually be doing real duties. You won't just be making tea or coffee. You will actually be doing actual stuff in your work and learning as you are working. So you will get lots of great benefits from doing an apprenticeship. So as I've already mentioned, you will be looking at getting a salary. So you will get paid. Now, it's a little bit less than permanent employment, but it is an investment because you can work your way up, um, start off as an apprentice and work your way up within a company. I can tell you that more than 90% of people who do an apprenticeship stay in permanent employment afterwards. Because what happens is you start off as an apprentice and the employer gives you lots of training and they spend a lot of money in your education. So at the end of it, they're more likely to offer you a permanent role. But even if you decide you don't want to stay with that company and you want to move on, you will find that you're much more employable because you have that work experience behind you and those amazing qualifications. Now, when it comes to qualifications, you won't have to pay anything towards that. So it's all funded by the government and the employer. OK, so you won't have to pay anything. So you will come out with the salary and um, hopefully a really good job and you won't have to pay anything back um, towards your education. Also, when it comes to social life, you will get to have a great social life because you'll meet loads of great people, both in your employment. Um, so you meet loads of different age people and backgrounds, but also in your education side. So whether you go down the university or the college route, you will find that and you'll meet loads of other great um, apprentices. Um, so you'll have a great social life on both sides. Um, so it is a really great opportunity for those of you who are more proactive students, those who like to learn as um, they are actually doing the job. Um, this is really great. Now, the other thing you can do um, is once you finish your A-levels, so when you get to year 13 and um, you're thinking whether you want to go down the apprenticeship route or university route, remember, you can apply for both if you're not sure. So what you can do is you can still fill out your UCAS application with all of your university choices and apply for apprenticeships separately. Because you apply to the employer directly with an apprenticeship, you will need to put down your UCAS. Therefore, you can really have both options available to you. So once um, you get your A-level results and you start getting those offers coming in, you can pick and choose what you like to do. 
that way you give yourself an even more opportunity okay so it's definitely worth um exploring as an option when it comes to an apprenticeship um so I'm just going to run you through the levels now. So you've got level two, which is intermediate, which is equivalent to GCSEs. It is exactly equivalent to five GCSEs, including maths and English, at a grade four and above. So that's sort of the minimum requirement um, to start off on an intermediate. Then you've got level three, which is advanced, which is equivalent to two A-levels or BTECs. Then you have level four, which is a higher apprenticeship, which is equivalent to um, the first year of university or um, so foundation degree um, or a national diploma. Then you have level five and six, which are higher end degree apprenticeship. So degree apprenticeship and then seven, um, which is master's. So it's equivalent to master level. OK, so as you can see with an apprenticeship, you can really grow and go all the way to getting your master's if you wanted to. So you can really work your way up and get some amazing qualifications through an apprenticeship. And don't forget, you'll be working alongside um, of this education. So you will not only be getting amazing qualifications, but you'll also be getting lots of work experience, which will be relevant to the role that you'll be doing. So very different from university, instead of studying a subject um, and studying that full time with an apprenticeship, you're actually choosing to do a role. So it's a bit more specific, a bit more in depth information. So you will have lots of training in that role. So once you finish, you will find it a lot easier to work full time because um, you'll have all that training behind behind you so it'll be much more easier for you so um what will happen is when you finish your a levels uh, most of you are probably going to be looking at sort of level four um apprenticeships so, so you can start as a level four potentially you could go down start off from a level three and working your way up okay if some of you find that you want to start from a level three that's okay um some of some some students do start from a level three is the most popular level even after you finish um year 13 that way you can gain lots of work experience because at the moment um you don't have any work experience in your your role and what you want to do so it's a really good stepping stone to then go on to do a higher end degree apprenticeship okay so don't feel that you have to start straight off from a level four but majority of the um, students that come from your school tend to start off from a level four and work their way up that way so it does depend on what you want to do now there are lots of great jobs that you can do through an apprenticeship and more and more are coming out so some really new ones have come out especially recently because of covid um, and there's a lot of high end degree apprenticeships friendships available which are really, really great. So there are about 170 different sectors that you can do an apprenticeship in. Now, a lot of, especially currently because of the current situation that we're living in, a lot of the um, NHS careers, um, a lot of sort of nursing and uh, all of those have become really popular, but also you've got a lot of digital marketing as well. Um, all of those digital telecommunication companies as well are always looking for apprentices at the moment. Some of them are really great. A lot of management role, business as well, finance, accountancy. You could do law as well through an apprenticeship. You could even study to be a teacher through an apprenticeship. So there are some amazing opportunities. And again, I've met some of the students that come from your school who have actually done really, really well with themselves by doing an apprenticeship and they I think they're really successful now in their careers. So it's definitely worth thinking about whether you are a more active student and you would find it easier to learn as you're doing an actual job or whether you want to go down the academic route. As I said, you can at the moment choose both. It's worth exploring and doing as much research as you can now. So then once you start year 13, you can start doing all, the, all of the applications and you'll be ahead of the game because you'll have a bit more knowledge behind you. Now, just a few differences between university and apprenticeship. I've already mentioned a little bit, but you, what you will find is that with a university, it is a full um, time role. So you will be studying full time with an apprenticeship. You are studying part time and you're working on top of that as well. So they are both very um, take a lot of time and a lot of effort. So do bear that in mind with an apprenticeship. Again, because you are employed, you will have benefits of holiday and um, a salary with a full time university. You don't. Um, but there are some, um, as you can see on the screen, there's lots of great things about university and lots of great things with um, high-end degree apprenticeships. The high-end degree apprenticeship do take a little bit longer to complete because as I said, it's part-time studying and full-time work and you're more likely to have a full-time role, uh, permanent position at the end of your apprenticeship. 
There are some benefits that you can get with both um, things like earning a degree. So the degree that you gain from an apprenticeship is as equivalent as a full time university degree. Um, so it's exactly the same. And also you still get to have a great social life and you still get some um, discounts like uh, NUS cards. And often if you work for some employers um, will offer their own discounts as well. So I know like Louis Vuitton, they offer some really good um, discounts on their bags. So if anybody's interested in working for them, that's really good. Um, so you will find that there are some benefits on both sides. And this is why I come in to speak to you today, just to make you aware that there are lots of other options out there and it's worth exploring to see whether they'll be suitable for you. So there are lots of employers that provide apprenticeships. So you will find that there's lots of employers out there, local and a little bit further away. These are some of the really big ones, but remember there are smaller employers out there too. So do um, do a little bit of research. What you want to do now, as you have a bit more time, um, start exploring, okay? You will find that all of these big employers have lots of different apprenticeships opportunities. They don't just provide one type of apprenticeship, okay? They all have, you know, different departments and therefore they will be taking on apprentices for all sorts of different departments so don't feel that there's only one type of role for these companies um, they have lots of different roles and as I said you also got the smaller businesses they also take on apprentices so worth exploring those as well what you want to do to really stand out it's worth doing your own research get in touch with those employers that you're interested in and find out what opportunities they have find out what kind of apprenticeships they provide and what the recruitment process is like. You will find that very differently from university where you just do your UCAS application and sort of your statements and then you wait. With um, an apprenticeship, you can really apply anytime. So as soon as you start year 13, you want to start um, applying. Because you are applying to the employer directly, they all have different opening and closing days, okay? So it's not as straightforward as just putting everything in one application. You will find that you have to apply for each individual at different times and they all have different um, application as well but again I'm here to help you so if anybody needs support as we get to year 13 I'm more than happy to help okay um, and you also have amazing tutors who are here to support you so don't ever feel like you're on your own but it's very different from when you apply for university so the process is very different but what you can do now is do plenty of research to find out what the recruitment is like um, so you are prepared once you start um, so you're upper six okay so where to look to find those apprenticeships what you want to do is start off by going on the government website it's UK based and it's got um, lots of different employers a lot of employers tend to advertise on there so you can find a lot of information there so it's worth um, looking on that one also there's the amazing apprenticeships website which is also another one which is really good and it's got lots of big employers that you can look at the recruitment process of course, social media, especially lately, because of COVID, we've been doing everything virtually. So you will find that a lot of employers advertise their new opportunities on um, social media platforms. So again, worth looking at those as well. If there is a particular company you like, maybe worth following so you can have all the latest updates. And again, Follow the company website. So go on the company website. There's usually a career page. There's usually an apprenticeship team, especially those big ones that have an actual apprenticeship team. You can get in touch with them to find out a little bit more um, and take initiative. So you really is very competitive out there. And um, I know you'll do really well, but you really need to put yourself out there and start searching now. So then once you get to year 13, you feel a bit more confident in um, getting those apprenticeships, okay? So really put yourself out there and do plenty of research. So I just wanted to give you just quick examples of what I have found. So again, you won't need to apply yet, but this may be suitable for maybe some of the year 13 students. And as you can see, there's some really good local opportunities available. At the moment, there's a lot of software development, digital marketing, as I've already mentioned, but you do also have some great local employers such as Aviva, who I know that you have good relation with and they're really great employers. So um, again, worth getting in touch with those employers directly, see what kind of opportunities they have. But there are some great opportunities locally. If you feel that you want to move a little bit further away, make sure that um, it is um, 
possible for you because they won't offer a student accommodation like university with an apprenticeship you'll have to find your own accommodation so make sure that the salary is suitable for you and feasible for you um to, to sustain yourself okay because you won't um be eligible for any student finance loan and you won't be getting any um support when it comes to living so you will have to arrange all of that yourself okay so make sure you look at all of those details as well and also the in group so as i said we are a charity and we help students find apprenticeships so if you are interested you can always register with us and um we can help we match up uh, we have a recruitment team that matches up students with the uh, um, employers i apologize um who are looking for apprentices and um, so do have a look on that as well but as i said if any of you um want more information on how to apply you can definitely let your tutors know and i'm more than happy to arrange another session where i can show you where to go to register registered to find those apprenticeships. Um, so that's just an example of what we have available, but we have so many things and they all come out at different times all the time. So keep an eye out for these things all the time. And thank you all very much for listening so carefully and um, just conscious of the time. So thank you all so much. And tutors, if you have any questions for me, feel free to send me an email. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you for your time. Thank you so thank much, you. Fred. That was fantastic.